And whenever you're ready. <clears throat> I don't know. I have these uh, strange thoughts. <laughs> They're not violent or nothing. Well, some of them are violent. <laughs> Well, like the other day, I was talking to this old woman, and she was just talking and talking, and I just wanted to do some outrageous thing to her, like slap her, or, or pull her false teeth out, or play with the flab on her face. <laughs> I, I wouldn't, but it's something I think about. I, I remember when I was a little kid, I used to think I could talk to God. In fact, I thought I could talk to God better than anybody, and I, I didn't understand why world leaders didn't come to me to solve the world's problems. I remember sitting in church with my mother, and my mother, she was a beautiful woman. She looked like those women on jars of spaghetti sauce. She had big old bosoms, and I like them. I, I, I don't care what that sounds like, because it's one of my favorite parts of my mother. I remember when my father died, they, uh, she showed great dignity. She took my hand, and, and she said, I want you to go take care of your sister now. And I said, but who's going to take care of you? And she said, you go and take care of your sister. I can take care of myself. I said, but I want to take care of you. And she said, you get in there and you take care of your sister before I knock you into the middle of next week. So I did. And my sister, she was so beautiful in her confirmation dress. Somebody's been flashing the nurses. <laughs> I don't know anything about that. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Thank you.